Amazon stock update. So today, um, stock closed two and a half percent down. Basically, gave up ninety percent of yesterday's gain. This is a daily chart, and if you look at the past week, Amazon had pretty much two, actually two weeks. If you look at the last two weeks of price action, it did only have two positive days, and all the rest of these candles you can see. It opens higher, closes lower. So what to watch from here? So as you can see on my chart, I have it as a support at the moment, $30,000 as a support, and then 2,900. And then we have these lows, 2,750. That's where it has been bouncing uh, in January, February, and even March. And if you look at the, if you basically measure this, um, move from its basically lows 2670 flush down all the way to um, 3400 it was 27 um, percent rally it was 745 point move and if you drop i mean if you draw basically measure this drop the pullback or whatever you want to call it after that move it's pretty much half of that move, 385 points, uh, almost there, and it's in the middle of uh, that range, okay? Until it gets out of this range, it's just pure volatile, um, basically range, range bound. It's not trending up, it's not trending down, uh, and they have earnings scheduled 28th of April, and for the next week, uh, stock is pricing uh, that it's gonna move pretty much, option market is implying that it might move anywhere uh, 120 points up or down. So basically this gray zone that I highlighted here on my chart is basically the range from here. So it can go up 118 points all the way to 31.50, or all the way to 2900 it can come down that way of course it can move more than that but that's what market is implying okay and also well basically it's about four percent move up or down all right also if we switch to a different time frames you will see that this stock has moved uh pretty much in this range for quite some time so look at it so ever since it did break out of 2450, uh, 2020, May, look, it did rally from there, of course. And the peak was pretty much uh, 2020. Uh, I mean, the of course, we had the uh, all-time highs in 2021, June, but it didn't, it didn't spend much time there. So you can see what I'm talking about here. So it was in this chop consolidation of course with a big of range i can switch this chart to a monthly chart you can see uh, and tell yourself do you see any trend here so basically for about year and a half uh maybe even two years now so because it started maybe if it spends in this uh consolidation zone till um August, I mean, it would be two years um, that this stock is pretty much stuck between this $3,000 and $3,500 range, okay? And if you switch to a yearly chart, last year, 2021, it did not outperform the market, actually, it underperformed the market, and so far this year, this is a yearly candle, uh, and it's underperforming the market probably as well. So it's down 9% at the moment uh, from the opening of the year. So for me, uh, maybe excited might come if they report something good and then they do the stock split. Stock split is scheduled uh, June 6, pretty much 22-1. So this stock would be uh, in... Um, in summer about $150 stock so at that point um, well we'll see maybe it will be a little bit more uh, liquid and it may not move with such big uh, range 
as it has been, but we'll see. It's going to increase definitely shares out there by 20 times, and uh, you're not going to see these kind of uh, maybe big fluctuations. But again, uh, that's the video basically. There's not much going on, not much to talk about. For me, uh, I'm not bullish, I'm not bearish. Um, for me, until it this it gets out of uh, range either way so if it drops 27 40 okay i'm short bias it can come down if it breaks out 3500 well it has a room all the way to 3750 and then 4000 so we'll see what it does we'll, we'll see what they report uh, but that's what i'm looking at on amazon amzn stock thanks for watching see you in the next one